I'm not trying to sound like a tough guy and I don't talk about the thing a lot, but I was ready, in great shape, and Tito bailed on that thing because Tito knew he was going to get his ass whooped on national television. Tito knew. Tito had Jenna call, Jenna Jameson call, negotiating, like two weeks before the fight that he wanted to switch it to no headgear because this was supposed to be an amateur fight. So we wanted to switch to no headgear. I said, fine. We're going no headgear. We wanted to switch to eight-ounce gloves. I said, okay, we can do eight-ounce gloves. The reality is I used to beat the living shit out of Tito Ortiz back when we first bought this company and we used to box. Now, if Tito would have made this an MMA fight, I would have never said yes because Tito would murder me. He would double leg me, elbow my face off, and rip my head right off my shoulders in an MMA fight. That's, that's not what he asked, asked for. He asked for a boxing match with me. And I would have beat the living shit out of Tito. And he knows it. And that's why he didn't do it. Oh! Oh, he's got him in the left He's got him hurt here. He tags him again. Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills like this. Certainly could realize great success as a professional boxer if he so chose. We're glad to have him here on the UFC, though. Powerful punches. He'll wow you with his combinations. You know, some people think the sweet science is a simple art. You watch this guy, it's anything but. Vast differences in ability, in technique. He'll look to put the hands together tonight. This guy is a boxer, and he will have a distinct advantage if this fight goes in boxing distance. Whether it's up against the cage with dirty boxing or in the center of the octagon where he can utilize his superior accuracy. Devastating. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Dana Fly. And now we're going to see the ball fighting at the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, USA. Tito! Give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves this morning. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, the wait is over. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> that 
that strike will count. Able to check that kick as well. Dana White gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. And he continues to work on the inside of that lead leg. Tagged him. Lands a big right hand early. Another one to the head. First. Yeah, Joe, we're just getting going, and there's the end of the fight. So it's a win by first round knockout, near perfect on the technique. I'm not even sure his opponent saw that thing coming. And really, before his opponent had a chance to get in the fight at all and land anything in terms of a significant strike, he was knocked out. So major, major transpiration here tonight. Let's see it one more time. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 41 seconds of the very first round. We're going to win it by knockout, Dana Wine. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, we are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh. 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 That landed. Trying to get into side control here. Can't make it. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. So the distance closes here, they will clinch her. Dana White gets double underhooks here in the clinch. Normally now he'll try to change levels and go for a takedown. He's in half guard. Full out. Very nicely done. Oh yeah. man, that is rough. He's got half guard. Transitions to full guard. Now he's in half guard. Just tagged him with the right hand there. Switching stances here. Well, Joe, you gotta follow the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right into his opponent's striking range. He would be wise to get his head off of the center line and stop leaning in. Damaging wow. strike there. Whoa! Three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. <laughs> UFC President Dana White gets tagged. He hurt him again. He's trying to hang on. Oh, another shot. He's hurt bad. Big straight punch. Both guys landing with conviction now.
movement and transitions here on the ground, staying busy. Under 90 seconds now to go in round one. Oh! He is rocked! Big show! Oh, beautiful combination! Oh, big left hook there! Oh, he got tagged again! He's hurt! Oh, oh beautiful, beautiful there! Hook. Joe, knockouts don't get much more prettier or much more flush than that. Full force and full extension on the kick, and there was no chance after that, Joe. The fight was really over as soon as that kick made contact. An outstanding highlight for that young fighter here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Watch this again here. I mean, just stiff. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Bruce Buffer is in the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, eight seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. And so there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure. His next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his... Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Big oh, left, left in there. These are some bombs he is throwing. for a knockout blow. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there, Joe. Landed flush, and I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. There it is again. Check it out again. Crank. Right on the jaw. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. 